I hope Hibs do win the cup again for my brother when my brother's playing. I hope that. Uh, but before my brother went, I was like, I hope the Hibs don't win for another 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> but now that he's there, I hope they, I hope they win it as many times That's as pretty possible. Generous. That's pretty generous. As many times as possible. But uh, no, I've, the connection I've got with Hibs is going to be there forever. The corners. Because you said earlier on that you've always, since you were young, practiced but free I, kicks and I corners. I spoke about this before. I think it was for a, a guy who wrote a book. Uh, about it. I spoke about this before. See, every Friday we done like set plays and stubs for whatever reason I had to hit corners. So if, if that was us attacking corners or our defenders defending corners. So I was hitting like, it must have been about 30 corners every Friday. It counts. Give or take. And it, 30 it. corners every Friday. And that was all year. I was hitting corners every Friday. So when it came to the when it came to games, I was, I was like, where do you want? Like, genuinely, it was feeling like, where do you want the ball? You, the, I can the, put the ball you, wherever you want it. What a feeling. Which was amazing. I've not got that feeling now because it's not as, I don't hit as much as 30 corners every, every Friday. Mm. I should probably start again. But uh, it was that feeling like I could put the ball, wherever I wanted to put the ball in the box, I could put it. And obviously, all like, again, fate, I don't know if it was true, but it came down to the two corners and the two corners were on the money. Couldn't have put, I couldn't have placed it better with my hand, the ball. And it, it, it doesn't matter who I speak to, whether it's somebody who's a World Cup winner or you at play. To, to hear that phrase from a professional sports person is, yeah. is brilliant. But see, to be fair, I always look at it, if it was one time, maybe you can say it was a fluke. Because it was two in the space of ten minutes, mm -hmm. you can't say it's a fluke. What, did, you ever, did you feel that the second goal was coming? The sec second goal from your corners, I mean. Uh, Stokesy was unbelievable that day. Yeah. Stokesy was a man possessed. Mm. He was frightening. Maybe something to do with the opposition. I don't know. Just guessing. Ah, maybe, maybe, aye, maybe. But to be fair, for the six months before it, it wasn't that Stokesy was a wee bit give or take. But Stokesy had all that built in the world. What like he was a super player, and he it's turned up on person. turned up on that day. And we had a good team mm -hmm. as well, Hibs. See if you look at about the team with the that we had then and where they're, what they're doing now and the players that we had. Dylan, for me, is an amazing player. Mm. McGeeock, McGinn, Cummins, who's in Australia, he's, I keep in touch with him as well. So, no, we had a really good team and connection with Hibs is going to be there forever. Like, did it merit kissing your brother? 100%, aye, 100%. No, 100%. People say, was that a flute? Was it pre-planned? No, 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 it was because you, they were sitting, so my mum and dad were in the box they were in the, the, the prawn sandwich brigade seat, <laughs> which, I'd, which I, think they, I think they enjoyed at the end of the, the, end of the game, but it would have been eating, eating up at my mum and dad, because they like to be in with the, not the riffraff, but they like to be in with Making the a noise actual, and get, like, getting feel the feel game. Of it. Aye, feel any the any game. decent person does. Feel the game. Uh, so they were up there, and obviously my, I had loads of friends, aunties, uncles, brothers. So they were a wee bit back, and the third goals went, Ewan's told me the third goals went in. And Jamie, who's my other brother, who's a wee bit more quiet, he's not as, uh, he's quieter. And Jamie's told me as well, the third goals went in and Ewan's just took off. <laughs> and he's like, where's he, where's he going? So he's took off the, the corner and I'm, I've fell on my, I've not even went to David Gray, I've fell on my like, backside going like that, kissed the badge or whatever, and then went to the crowd. But they're away to my left, like all the other boys are away to my left. And I'm into the crowd and I've looked up and I've seen Ewan. And I'm like, what is he doing here? Like, how is he here? He's supposed to be up there. And I went to kiss him on the head, on the forehead, and he's went to kiss me on the head as well. I was just smack lips. Smack lips, but I wish somebody had a video of it. It's, a, it's a funny little micro story, story because when I'm watching, I can see, I think there's a chance before the 3 2 goal. I stoke say with the, the fans have a little run. Step and over in the left foot that's shot. That's it. And, and the, so there's a surge down. Because growing up in, in, in my era, it happened in, you know, you, whether it was for the Dandies or whether it was a Scotland game, you didn't move of your own volition if there was a goal. Yeah. Just like the whole mass of everybody moved and it was dangerous now, we know, yeah. but, you know, you, you weren't in control of your movements. Yeah. So there was, it wasn't quite that mad dense in the Hibs end, but like there was this sort of torrent of bodies moving forward for the Stokes chance, and then they kind of went oh, back up again. But you knew that they were ready, and if the, if the goal comes, you know it's just going to be bosh, there yeah, you are. It was amazing. And there was your brother. It was amazing. I wish Jamie, I wish Jamie I came down as well so we could have celebrated <laughs> the three years.